So in this shape, this kind of mushroom, mushroom form, I've got two materials to show you. One is an agate, and this one is a, a very, very attractive and quite seductive um, striated agate. Striated meaning well, with lines running through it of various colours running from, well, what's that? I don't know, it's a kind of a creamy colour all the way to dark grey. But in the same sort of style, this one here, which is a typical mushroom uh, shaped hand or seal from 1700. That just shouts 1700 to me. And that's formed with ivory, which has to be made normally in two parts, connected to a silver matrix. They come in other materials. Wood is another material that this one would come in. Ivory at that time was very plentiful and more valuable. So it, the, the silver matrix ones tends to be mated to ivory. Whilst we're on the subject of ivory, ivory was, was widely used in, in England. Strangely, it was more English than any other European country in my experience. If I see ivory, I think instinctively of England. This one, for instance, is uh, an ivory handle connected to two matrices one at each end, one has a formal armorial, the other end a crest. Both for the same person, but it just gives that person the choice of which or how formal he wants to, to sign his letters.